We are here with International Master Wati Kabesi. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for interviewing me. Uh, how is the tournament going? Um, good so far. Uh, very strenuous. I mean, uh, two games a day, very hot. Um, and uh, the field, uh, you know, a lot, lots of young stars. So, I mean, in terms of energy, you know. But uh, yeah, so far so good. It's nice to play. Yeah. Yes, and your last round opponent now was against Charles de Villiers. Yes. I assume you've played many times in the past. Many. I mean, um, Charles is a legend. I mean, you know, he's, uh, he's won the SA Close, Ace Open, I don't know how many times. I mean, um, um, I, mean I, I, I think I go back. First time I met Charles, actually, he, he made a, uh, he was a guest. Like, we had some um, school thing. And he actually gave us a, a lecture and taught us, like, it was King's Indian. I even remember a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. And um, I've played many tournaments, I mean, Olympiads with him, uh, many clothes. And, you know, he's just, yeah, yeah, he's a legend. And it was actually a very interesting game we played as well. Yeah, I was going to ask about your personal record, if you were to guess. Uh, I'm up. I'm up. But, I mean, not by much. But, um, yeah. For some strange reason, when I was much younger, I used to give him more problems, <laughs> I remember. But then, yeah, he, he kind of caught up somewhere. Um, but I mean, I'm up a little bit, but not, not much. Yeah. That's good. Um, I think we had a conversation the same time last year. You were telling me that two rounds a day, it does require more energy and stamina, especially during a nine-round tournament. Um, I think the best preparation would be physical. You know, um, going to the gym and so on, which I did not do. I didn't have the time and so on. All kept postponing that. But I think that's probably the best uh, preparation you can you can make. But that will take like months. You know, you gotta do that six months before or something. Um, so when I uh, sort of uh, decided that I was going to play, I, I knew that okay, it's all about um, sort of managing. You know, when you are tired, managing yourself. So I did a lot of uh, training exercises, like uh, calculation exercises when I was tired, mm. during the day when it was hot, you know, like uh, for a few days. Yeah. So yeah, for now it has paid off. I mean, I am getting tired, but I can still, I can see at least that, you know, that, that training helped a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's, it's still only the second day, long way to go. That's true. Yeah. And one question about the new year. Happy New Year, by the Thank way. Thank you very much, same to you. <laughs> yes. Um, do you have any aspirations for this year in terms of uh, the coaching and training that you do as opposed to playing? Uh, do you have any playing goals? I do. I mean, you look, I mean, um, uh, coaching all, all the time because you have, you have students, you make programs for the student, you know, you want the student to do this and that. So there's always something going along there, especially if you have uh, some ambitious students um, but playing wise you know I mean truth be told um, uh, f f for many years we've been it's been hard you know in South Africa uh, you know the, the chess politics have been very unfair I say unfair for the people involved um, people who have nothing to do with chess you know it is true they have nothing to do with chess um, it's just for ego and, and whatever reasons and um, it has ruined it for everyone. It's really muddied the waters, and mm -hmm. it was very difficult to, to just ignore all of that and, and just work and, and train. Mm -hmm. I think if you, if you look generally at the level of all the top players, all, we, we've gone down tremendously. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was really sad, and, um, and um, I hope we safeguard chess you know, in the future for anyone who wanted to come in. We need to see people who are for selfish, terrible selfish reasons. We need to keep them up, keep them out. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so it, it hasn't, it's not fully resolved, is it? People are still kicking around. Yeah. Never stops, yeah. But hey, what can you do? But, but at least it, it, it's looking positive. So that gives a, a little bit of a glimmer. So yeah, I think I'll play more. Um... um yeah, I'm always worried about my rating because, you know, it's youngsters and stuff. But I played that one tournament in Moja mm -hmm. and the conditions were not That's suitable for me. That. They were horrible, actually, yeah. truth be told. I mean, I mean, imagine, like right now I'm playing and I'm drinking a lot of water. Mm -hmm. During the game, I'm going like nine to ten times to the men's room, which is normal because, you know, you're right. Yeah. 
and that's it. And and I was playing in the Moja tournament was hot as hot as now, and uh, it took ten minutes to go to the to the toilet. You know, very unfair situation. I mean, health hazard. Okay, I'm a nice guy. Didn't say anything and everything. But I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's yes. the truth. I lost twenty five elo points in one tournament solely because of this you know i mean i was playing the tournament like at one stage i remember i have like 12 minutes my opponents were like 35 minutes uh it's his turn i cannot go i need to go to the toilet i cannot go i have to work it off can you imagine playing like this i mean it's ridiculous you know so anyway i i hated that tournament i like that i like the idea and stuff but that issue of the path is going to take me f- many years to forgive them for that it was horrible and um it's a nice concert i hope next time they'll i mean they'll they'll do a better job simple and um but yeah yeah still still interesting it's it's chess for me and i still like to play and still i'm hoping to play more now yeah i like that you ending off on a positive note there and a final question i know you want to go rest uh, after your game is that um Usually during a tournament, you're working the most. That's sort of your training. Um, you know, you're spending hours playing and hours preparing and that sort of thing. And uh, maybe when there isn't a period of time where you are not playing, you're more focused on your daytime job and all those things. Uh, to keep that momentum going right after a tournament, what would you recommend players do in order to uh, build on that form that they've uh, created, I suppose? Well... For me, it's been um, very difficult, but now I'm doing training matches against, uh, you know, a couple of uh, friends. And uh, for me, I think maybe that's one thing to look at, you know, to look at people uh, who are ambitious and, um, and, and, and to play, to play against them, you know, after, you know, prepare, play. It's not the same as the tournament, but at least it's, it's something, yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Basu, and good luck for the rest of the tournament. Thank you very much.